When you think of John and Yoko walking around the big city, you probably think of Manhattan, New York City. But what if I told you that John and Yoko spent some time in San Francisco, California? Join me as we retrace where they walked, where they drove, and what they did in the city by the bay. Let's go. In 2020, some news footage from WABC TV was rediscovered. The footage is from August 5th, 1972, and that's the day that a news crew followed John Lennon and Yoko Ono around San Francisco. And in this scene, you see John and Yoko walking down Greenwich Street, and John looks over to his right down Hay Street over at Coit Tower. They were most likely walking to the world famous Lombard Street, which is just one block over. That guy walking with them is a reporter for WABC TV, and his name, Geraldo Rivera. Yes, that Geraldo Rivera. Before a chair broke his nose, and before he found out that Al Capone's tomb is empty, he was out here interviewing the Lennons. And I want to apologize for the crappy audio in this segment. A huge gust of wind knocked over my tripod and broke my external microphone. Eventually I switched to my cell phone, which was a little bit better audio. Look how big this tree has gotten. When John, Yoko, and Geraldo walked past it, it was really small. It actually had some kind of support system to help it grow. And now look at it. In the background, you can see those garage doors. And you can see this archway. These are my favorite types of locations, the random street. Just imagine it, 50 years ago, John and Yoko and Geraldo were walking right down this sidewalk. This little intersection that hundreds of cars drive past every day on their way to Lombard Street. Little do they know that John and Yoko and Geraldo were all right here, 50 years ago. I mean, if you think about it, with John Lennon walking right through this intersection, this is kind of like San Francisco's Abbey Road. I'm so glad Coit Tower is in this shot or this location would have been extremely hard to find. Okay, you rolling? You're a long way from New York City. What brings you here? A car. <laughs> <laughs> Green pants. Next, John and Yoko are interviewed right here. They're at the corner of Baker and Broadway Street. Have you ever been here before? Back. Yeah, many times. I don't know how many at all, actually. You never spent much time here, though. Uh-uh. Oh, we used, no, we spent two days here last time. Mm. And this is the first city that I met my father, first time that is in. Well, tell that story. Oh, because I was uh, I was born in Tokyo, and uh, at that time my father was uh, in San Francisco for business, and uh, he was staying there for three years. And when I was three, I came to San Francisco to see him. Yeah. This wasn't too difficult to find because behind Yoko, you can see the Palace of Fine Arts. Now, all this greenery has really grown in, but the Palace of Fine Arts is still there. Over John's shoulder, you can see 
this large building. Dude, all that nodding, you know, you should... There were originally columns up there on that wall. But as we can see on Google Maps, they decided to close it in, probably to keep the wind out. It's very windy in San Francisco. Now it's completely enclosed. That's not instant karma, that's instant carpentry that's gonna get you. Instant karma's gonna get you. Gonna knock you right in the head. I wonder how many people have sat at this spot and have no idea that John Lennon and Yoko Ono sat right here and got interviewed by Geraldo. <laughs> I see what you are. <laughs> Uh, well, that's what you, you told me something like that. Yeah, right. So why were John and Yoko in San Francisco? Well, it wasn't just for a vacation. John and Yoko had been crisscrossing the United States looking for Yoko's eight-year-old daughter, Kyoko. Kyoko's father, Anthony Cox, had kidnapped Kyoko during a nasty 1971 custody battle. Anthony joined the cult, the Church of the Living World, and hid out in religious communes. John Lennon was also trying to avoid being deported back to the UK. Even though John and Yoko followed every lead, Yoko did not see Kyoko again until 1998. The Lennons and Geraldo decided to go for a drive. They said, Geraldo baby, you can drive my car. So let's get in the car and follow where they went. The video picks up with them going down Fillmore Street at the corner of Fillmore and Broadway. Every time we do this, I just about faint. Yeah, now this is the right speed now as you go cruising over this uh, suicide map. It's like a roller coaster, yeah, you know? Yeah, great. The house on the left has been completely altered and remodeled. And notice the square brown house at the bottom of the hill. In modern times, we can't see it anymore because of all the trees. But when you get to the bottom of the hill, the house is still there, and it still looks surprisingly the same. This is it, look at that. We should join the American Tourist Board. As they start to go down the next block, notice the pointy shaped building at the end. That pointy shaped building is still there. <laughs> Watch out for the top on the left. Just hustling the chick. <laughs> John points out a police officer about to give a girl a ticket. That took place right here on the corner of Green and Fillmore. Now I'm not sure if that officer gave her a ticket for prostitution or jaywalking, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't a ticket to ride. But either way, it's been so long, I'm sure she don't care. <laughs> That's a nice thing. She's just been written the whole world. Where yes. it's gonna live. Nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's one choice you don't get. Yeah. We like to sort of moment, live everywhere, York, you know? Yeah, New York. Like. The ideal thing is to be a gypsy. <laughs> So from their car ride, our three companions come down here to Fisherman's Wharf and walk past the Old Fisherman's Grotto restaurant. I like to imagine that John felt pretty home out here by the wharf. Liverpool, his hometown, is a port city, has the Mersey River that runs from Liverpool through northern England. But no yellow submarines out here, only tugboats.
Dirty Linen. Sometime during the day, our trio drove up here to Koi Tower. This is almost the exact same spot where Uncle Jesse parked his car in an episode of Full House as seen in my last video, and they came here searching for the family dog, Comet. But on this day in 1972, Geraldo asks about the search for Kyoko. What's the status now of the search for Kyoko? Well, you know, August 3rd was Kyoko's birthday. And uh, last year, I didn't know where Kyoko was, except that uh, we knew the lawyer's address and all that. We sent a birthday present, and it wasn't delivered to her. This year, we don't even know the, where the lawyer is or anything, so we can send a birthday present. Then tell me some of your experiences. What were you following? Jack Kerouac's route? What was uh, it? We don't know what route. It was actually the route, route to California that the Californian gold rush took. And uh, we read a lot about, I read tons of books about Indians, both of us did. Mm. And we, we saw some amazing sites like the first white man in Nevada and those kind of signposts between Pep. <laughs> I thought I was a Beatles fan. I mean, I've seen Paul McCartney twice in concert, once in 2010 and once in 2019, where Ringo showed up, and I've also seen Ringo Starr in concert. I've even walked across and moonwalked down Abbey Road. But I had no idea that Yoko Ono had another child. I didn't know she had a daughter before she had Sean. What kind of Beatles fan am I? <laughs> If you learned something new or are having fun watching this video, please give it a like and think about subscribing if you haven't. That would really help me out. Thanks. Geraldo then drives the Lennons over the Golden Gate Bridge on a much foggier day than today. You can almost barely make out the big pylons that make up the bridge. What do you want to do? What do you really want to do now? Yeah. I mean, you've done virtually everything. You know, you've talked yeah. about how the Beatles have been everything. Yoko has been a, a, a critically acclaimed uh, visual artist. Now you're performing artists together, usually acclaimed. What's left? They want to do now? They want to pull our heads and create a new form or whatever it is. You know? What? Or do you know what it is? It could be movies. It could be anything. We, that we always instinctive, you know, and we just follow the wind. You know, we're like sails or like a yacht, and when the wind gets in us, we just go with it, you know? In 1972, it was super foggy that day. The fog is just rolling over those hills. And the sign that you can't make out in the news video says Vista Point. And John Yoko and Geraldo are staring off into the distance at the majestic wonder of the mighty Golden Gate Bridge. And it really is a sight to behold. This video does not do it justice.
around this area is where Geraldo was interviewing John and Yoko again. Why would you leave all this loveliness to go back to New York City in the middle of the summertime? And you can tell that Yoko's got Kyoko on her mind. As a mother, I share the pain. I really understand how the mothers feel. How they feel. <laughs> There's one last location I want to show you. On a prior trip to San Francisco, John and Yoko met Juan and Betty Hong. Juan Hong practiced acupuncture and herbal medicine out of his home in San Mateo. The Lennons became good friends with the Hong family. This is where the Hong family lived in the 1970s. Now some time ago, the house was torn down and they're in the middle of building some kind of apartment complex here. Here's a doodle that John drew for the Hong family on this trip in 1972. Shortly after this 1972 trip, John and Yoko flew out the Hong parents to see John in concert at Madison Square Garden. Sadly, in 1975, Wan Hong died unexpectedly. But John and Yoko were able to support the Hong family financially until the girls were adults. So John and Yoko spent two weeks with the Hong family. Now, one of the girls says that not on this trip in 1972, but on a prior trip, when John and Yoko came to stay, John showed them one of his new songs. And that song was Imagine. So the old Hong residence was where Imagine was played for one of the first times to anybody in the public. It's so crazy that all this rock and roll history happened on this street corner. Thanks for watching this video. Here's one last bonus location. John, Yoko, and Geraldo also rode a cable car that day but I didn't have time to figure out exactly where it was. I think they stopped right here at California and Polk. But I'll leave this location up to you to figure out. <laughs>